I want to speak to those people that are protesting and getting angry and 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 really, you know, I know it's hard and and we all want to get back. I mean, I, I there's so many people or so many things that I would love to have the freedom to do right now instead of just getting in my car, coming to ASAP, getting back in my car and going back home. I mean, that's the, that's my life. I'm not stopping. I'm not going anywhere. Thank God I, I have a daughter that is willing to do our grocery shopping and, and all of that. And, and I have no, no reason to go in, in any uh, congregate setting, whether it be grocery shopping or whatever. But, but I'm not angry at, at our governor or angry at our folks that have to make the decisions to make us safe. And I know there, there are those that are telling folks, oh, go ahead, do whatever you need to do. Uh, we, we're going to be all right. You know, I know there was a church that held services and, and, you know, I'm a, I'm a faith person. I'm a believer. I'm a Christian, but there is no way that I would tell people, um, in the name of God to go into a building, uh, in a congregate setting now when, when all of this stuff is going on with COVID-19, there's just no reason for us to do that. Shall Sheltering in uh, place, and I'm I'm refusing it to call it a lockdown too. You know, Carla and I also had this conversation. I'm refusing to call it lockdown because when I looked up lockdown and the true meaning of the word uh, lockdown, it, lockdown is is a military function. It means that you cannot leave your house. There are military police lined up the street, and you you can't do anything. So that's a true lockdown. Um, I would not have been able to come in and out of my house without some sort of papers and all that. So let's adjust our language so that we're not um, scaring ourselves and everybody to death by calling it a lockdown. We are calling it shelter in place because that's what it is. We're sheltering in place. So that any of us who have not been able to be tested that may, um, be, may be, uh, carrying COVID-19 but have no symptoms that we're not passing that when we're out and about in social settings. So that's what we're in. That's what we're experiencing. And the negative language is just scaring you, scaring your children, scaring the community. So let's get rid of that uh, negative language. Then, yes, there are people who are um, um, who are going into the hospitals and they are older individuals. They are people of color. They are, are first responders. They are people who um, had secondary things going on. Okay, for instance, um, I have high blood pressure. Um, I also have um, asthma and, and I'm over the age of 60. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> I have a birthday coming up. You'll soon know what my birth, my age is, but I'm over the age of 60. So those are all things that, that increase my risk. If uh, my immune system is already compromised, this is why when, 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 um, in my healthy days and every day, I, I make sure that I have orange juice, vitamin C, vitamin D, everybody should be looking at their health care and their health regime. Are we eating foods that help build our immune system? You can go online and figure out what immune system building foods are. And, and let's not just do it because we're frightened. These are all things that if you ate this way on a daily basis and you would feel healthier, you would um, you would have a better digestive system and your immune system would be in better condition. Exercise, and again, a 30-minute walk. We're not asking people to go into the gym. Um, I gave up my gym membership a while ago, and now I just do stretches, one, because of my sciatic, but also doing um, a bicycle, and I have some little weights, and 30 minutes of that, sometimes a little longer, sometimes a little less, I don't beat myself up. I just do what I can. And then I walk my dogs, um, excuse me, as, as you know, dogs need to be walked. Right now, they're hating me um, because I'm always constantly like go looking at them thinking, let's go for a walk, especially since the days have gotten so beautiful here. And they're looking at me going, we do not want to go for a walk. 
crazy lady, go sit down. So, um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm not, tr I'm trying not to, to um, scare my dogs to death because uh, I love them. So, so we're gonna take care of ourselves. We're gonna, we're gonna eat better. We're gonna be kinder, not only to um, the folks around us, but we're gonna be kinder to ourselves. Um, I, I'm the worst person in this area. I'm always beating myself up for what I forgot, what I didn't do, who I wasn't in contact with, what I could do better, um, all of that. No more. COVID-19 has taught me that I can only do what I can do and I can only be the best I can be in this moment, in this space, and in this time. So let's all try to, to, to figure that out for ourselves. Also, um, someone had wrote me uh, last week and said, you know, Michelle, one of the things that you said touched me deeply when you said, you know, look at yourself first. And, and the, I, I don't ever want anybody to think I'm beating anybody up. I, I, these are things that I've done for myself because the person that you all know and the person that I hope that, that you have in res respect and love for was not always the person that I, that I was. So, so I'm only speaking from my experience where the minute I, I change my language, um, um, and not the minute, that's just, that's a state, a saying, but over time, changing my language from negative to positive, always trying to look at the glass a little bit more full than half full or, or whatever, always trying to say, well, what's the other side of this? Instead of constantly looking for the negative, negative in, in everything, the, you know, all of that. So all of those little microscopic changes over the last uh, two decades of my life have brought me to COVID-19 and not, not saying I'm not washing my hands or using hand sanitizer or I I've got like uh, 50 uh, different types of mask over there for whatever occasion. No, I'm not saying that. I'm, but I am getting my rest, and I am doing some of the things that um, that will make me healthier mentally, spiritually, and um, physically uh, as we go through this time.